in because I'm about to tell you a story. It's a story that has to do with politics, money, free speech, the Supreme Court, and your favorite, Hillary Clinton. It goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a conservative organization called Citizens United. It was started back in 1988 in Washington with the purpose of, according to them, to educate voters about limited government, free enterprise, national security, and Christian family values. You know, that Koch Brothers stuff. In early 2008, they produced a documentary film on so Hillary Clinton, who was running for president at the time. It was called Hillary, the movie. Now, the movie dealt about her record as senator, first lady, and whether or not she would make a good president. Spoiler alert, they thought she did. So right before the Iowa caucus, Citizens United bought some airtime with DirecTV to show the movie. Well, guess what? Hillary Clinton wasn't happy about it. She brought out that finger and she was like, uh-uh, sister, ain't gonna happen. So she went to the FEC. Now, in case you don't know what the FEC is, that is the Federal Elections Commission. And that's the government agency that regulates campaign financing. Now, Hillary's argument was that this I movie wasn't a movie at all, but rather it was a political Obviously. ad against her. And according to election laws, and this is the heart of the matter, corporations cannot air TV ads days before an election mentioning a candidate's name. That's just the law. The FEC agreed and blocked Citizens United from showing their movie. Hillary won. And as expected, Citizens United took the FEC to court, but they lost. So they went to the Supreme Court. Let's recap. Citizens United wants to show Hillary movie. Hillary's like, this ain't no damn movie. FEC agrees and blocks it. They go to court, FEC wins. Citizens United appeals to the Supreme Court. Cut to two years later, January 2010, the Supreme Court decided in favor of Citizens United. The justices determined that corporations are people too, and therefore their free speech is protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. So the part of the law prohibiting corporations from mentioning a candidate's name days before an election is unconstitutional. Who knew? But wait, there's more. The justices had a little extra something up those robes. So that day, they also decided that another part of that law was also unconstitutional. It's the one requiring corporations to disclose where the money is coming from to pay for all those TV ads. So that means that now it is perfectly legal for unions and corporations to raise an unlimited amount of money from secret donors to spend on supporting or trashing any candidate. USA! 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 And that, my friends, is the end of the story. The infamous story of the Supreme Court Citizen United. Ya tu sabe. So if you want to find out more about Citizens United, check out the links below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, like it, and register to vote. My name is Rolo, and this is Mas Politica.